Welcome back to the vlog on what really is going to be more of an injury update than training one. Last week I said that I was going to take a full seven days off from training with the intention of seeing a marked improvement in how my back felt. Unfortunately, although I've had the time off, I haven't really seen the, um, the improvement that I'd hoped for. Now, I actually suffered a few nights of uh, broken or pretty much zero sleep last week. Um, such was the pain in my back and I spoke to my sister-in-law who's a level 4 sports masseuse and she confirmed that this time in, in lockdown 2 we are allowed to have sports massages if they were for medical reasons and I, I've, I've had a couple of those now and whilst it's seen some improvement it's not completely cured it which is a bit of a shame. Now what we did find however was that instead of it being the piriformis syndrome that I thought previously what I, what I said in my last video it's actually called uh, quadratus lumborum, uh, which is a small connecting muscle that goes between the top of the pelvis and the 12th rib. Now that's a stabilizing muscle and unfortunately when it when it becomes weak or tight uh, and, and contracts it can either pull the hips um, up or the ribs down. I'll put a couple of the, the symptoms of, uh, of quadratus or Q, I'm going to call it QL because I can't pronounce it properly, but I'm going to put a couple of the symptoms of QL syndrome or where, you, where you've had a QL injury or an issue up on screen. And I can actually knock quite a few of these off. So I have had some trouble breathing. I have had a deep throbbing kind of dull ache, but then I've also had periods of really kind of excu uh, quite extreme acute pain. So I, um, I now know what I'm treating and I've adjusted my daily strength and conditioning routine to include a couple of QL stretches and strengthening exercises. Next week I've also booked to have a chiropractor appointment. I really think there's not only a soft tissue issue here but probably a skeletal one as well. I know that my hips have been out of line for some time for example and when I've had chiropractor appointments before I've usually been told that I've got twisted ribs from an old cycling injury. So I'm hoping that a combination of uh, re renewed or very focused strength conditioning on a daily basis, sports massages and a chiropractor appointment is actually going to see me right and, and within a short period of time I'll be back to training. In terms of other things, well I've not stepped on a wet on the scales this week, I don't want that misery in my life if I'm honest. Um, I probably have let my diet slip a little bit, although I'm including an awful lot of fresh vegetables, fresh fruit uh, and home cooked food in my, in my diet. I probably haven't been minimising the portion size as I was before the injury. Um, that's probably a little bit of self-pity if I'm honest, but I'm really going to have to start looking at that 500 calorie deficit again. Uh, I don't want to put weight on and then do the good work I did during October. So that starts this coming week. Um, and I'm going to just make sure that uh, I, I'm not putting weight on. As Bradley Wiggins once said, you don't you don't put fuel in your car if you're not driving it. And I think that's the same thing here. I'm not exercising. I don't need as much food as I was when I was doing an hour or so every day. Interestingly, what I have found now is with the uh, increased amount of time that I've got, I've really really kind of um, refound my my love of cooking. Um, I've I've spent a lot of time in the kitchen cooking some really quite nice food from scratch. Although I think today saw the height of pretentiousness, I pan fried uh, a section of wild mushroom to put on top as a dressing for a, a homemade uh, mushroom soup. I think that tells me I need to get out of the kitchen and start training back in the shed of dreams. I have done a couple of things, however, this week to help me with my training. The first is this, is the purchase of a stride foot pod. I've seen some really very good things about these things and I'm really quite keen to see how they work in real life. Now Doug has been using Stride for a number of years. He's a qualified Stride uh, coach. So I'm kind of keen to see what running to power feels like. I've used um, power on the bike in the run up to Ironman Wales and I really now rely on it as a, as a metric of, of, um, of data when I'm doing normal workouts. I'll be keen to see how that translates onto, onto running though. Um, open mind, really excited to see it. I can't wait to, to actually start running again so I can start to generate some power data. Now, as I said, I took advantage of a Black Friday deal for this, and it gives you the equivalent of a twenty pounds disc or twenty dollar discount, sorry, which equates to about eighteen pounds at current exchange rates. I'll put the code and the link to get one of these if you feel the need to uh, on the video right now. The other thing I've done is to identify a local bike fitter who's going to be able to work with me early in 2021. Um, I bought my Argon 18 in the run up to Ironman Wales and I absolutely love it. It's a very comfortable bike. However, I do experience a certain amount of neck pain at around about 90 miles. I'm keen to get a proper bike fit done because I think it's gonna help me not only to maintain comfort for longer on the bike, but also to be able to generate more watts in the aero position. And that's really quite important if I wanna be at the sharp end of my age group. 
Now he's an Argon dealer. He's uh, actually built quite a few of uh, Argon 18, uh, the E119 tries that I've got. His wife's a sponsored athlete and he's got one of the first new disc 119s in the country that he's currently building. So I'm really excited to work with him. He knows a lot of the tips and tricks and he's already pointed me in a few things that he, towards a few things that he said will actually help me to be uh, a more comfortable rider. So that's gonna take place either last weekend of January or the first weekend of February, a little while yet, but to be honest, I'm not gonna be using the Argon up until then anyway. So there we go, no real training to speak of. However, there has been some good progress, not only with new kit, but also uh, with the identification of what is causing me the pain at the moment and some um, methods that I can use to hopefully uh, get myself back to training as soon as possible. In terms of the coming week, my intention is to sit on the turbo at least a couple of times, spin my legs easily for about 30 minutes and maybe, just maybe, take a 15 minute run on that treadmill that I've still only used once. Right, that's it. I hope you're having a great week. I hope your training is going well. Look out for yourself, look after yourselves and uh, I'll see you again very shortly. Cheers guys.